Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for more diamond painting content like this. And if you're back, welcome back. Today I am very, very excited to get to share with all of you a sneak peek from the fabulous folks over at Diamond Art Club. I did already take this one out of the box that it shipped in because I actually didn't realize that they were sending me a sneak peek. They surprised me with it. So thank you so much again to the fabulous folks over at Diamond Art Club for sending me a sneak peek that I get to share with all of you. So what are we going to be getting into together? Look, this is a fantastic piece called Dragon of Fire. It's from the artist Robin Coney. Love it. And I am cracking up, cracking up that Diamond Art Club apparently already knows me so well that like they didn't even reach out to me to be like, hey, which sneak peek much <laughs> might you like to share this week? No, they just thought Dragon, Katie, got it. <laughs> So I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. So this is going to be one of the new releases for this upcoming Saturday. Hey friends, editing Katie here with a little update actually. So when I initially recorded this unboxing, I had thought that this kit was going to be a part of a standard Diamond Art Club release. I thought that I was just sharing a regular sneak peek with all of you. I found out after filming that in fact, this kit is part of a really special release that's happening over at Michael's. I believe it's going to be an online exclusive. So this was your first look at this kit. Now, just in case there's other info that I want to make sure that I share with you guys, I'm going to pop that up here on the screen for you. So take a look and make sure that you're not missing out on any really important info for this kit. So, sorry about the <laughs> little inserted edit here, but I wanted to make sure that you had absolutely accurate information about this kit and definitely encourage you to go and check it out because it is stunning. Thank you again to Diamond Art Club for sending out this special release for me to share with all of you and I'm gonna send you back to the original video. Now in the box, which is super sturdy, we've got the blue square here, the blue line here. Both of those tell us that this is going to be a square drill diamond painting kit. Diamond Art Club does have both square and round drill kits, and I like both. It just depends on my mood, I suppose, and the artwork. <laughs> so there are instructions on the back of the box. There's also some instructions we're gonna see in here. I am always gonna be one to recommend that you also take a look at YouTube videos. If you're brand new to diamond painting, um, I'm a very much a visual learner, so <laughs> that's something that I like to uh, recommend for my fellow visual learners. Now, really quick, before we get any further into this, I do need to and want to state up front in the interest of full transparency that this kit was sent to me to share with you guys. And in addition to that, I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate. Now, my affiliate relationships with companies does not affect my opinion, my transparency, and my honesty with all of you. You're always going to get all of the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, all of it's going to be honest and genuine. But I wanted to make sure that you know that I have that affiliate relationship. Um, what this also means though, is if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and you're looking at making a first time purchase from them and you want to save a little bit of money while also helping out me and my channel, I have a discount code and link down in the description that will save you 15% off of your first purchase from Diamond Art Club. There is no obligation to use it whatsoever, but if you choose to, thank you so much. It goes right back into my channel. And if you don't want to use it, I will say at least, please don't pay full price. They have discount codes usually on the bottoms of the canvases, in some of their Facebook groups. Just don't pay full price. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, let's get back to this kit. So we have our basic toolkit and they, the toolkits do vary slightly between the round and the square drill kits from Diamond Art Club. 
we have a plate of pink wax. This is actually really, really great wax to use. We have a straight pen there along with a squishy, make it a little more comfy for diamond painting. We have some spare plastic baggies. Oh, there's a very squished plate of pink wax. That's fine. A multi-placer, a tray, and then if it's a square drill kit, you're going to get some pointy tweezers. Definitely keep that little guard on there so you don't stab yourself. If you get a round drill kit, no tweezers, but yes, so you should be good. Their kits from Diamond Art Club also come with these little stickers. Yes, this is a sticker sheet. You can use this in your paper log books, which is what I like to do with them. Since they have all the info about the kit on them, including the artwork and the size of the canvas and whatnot, some people also like to use these just on the sides of the boxes that they came in, or the really creative types will actually turn those into cover binders or other artistic projects, which I continue to be impressed by. <laughs> so we did have this plastic dust cover that's gonna keep that diamond painting even more safe. And of course, whenever I unopen, <laughs> whenever I unbox a diamond art club kit, I just have to take a moment and pat the canvas because it's super, super soft and plush and one of the things that Diamond Art Club is super well known for. Now the edges of the canvas are also, they're surged and scalloped, which means it not only looks pretty, but it's not going to fray. Their canvases really are high quality and this, what we're looking at, this is gonna be poured glue. There are a couple of different kinds of adhesive in the diamond painting world. Poured glue is my personal preference. Also, take a look at that dragon for a second. We'll get closer to it in just a moment, I promise. But um, I really like poured glue because it's very forgiving and because it doesn't tend to develop bubbles and rivers and whatnot. If you are looking at this and you are panicking because you see what looks like bubbles and rivers, that's not what's happening. That's just where the clear plastic cover has shifted. And since this is a poured glue canvas, we can safely roll it back the opposite direction. This will help it flatten out, but with my, in my experience with Diamond Art Club's high quality canvases, you don't need to actually roll this. If you give it like three minutes, it'll lay pretty darn flat on its own with very little effort from you. Okay, oh my gosh, this dragon. Okay, this dragon. <laughs> I love it. I love this dragon so, so, so much. Can we talk about how this is like, so this is the very, 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 very distant relative of the Randall Spangler adorable little draglings. This is like the grumpy uncle <laughs> or something. Like we still got the green scales, but like this one's coming for you. <laughs> I love it. Look at the effect of these flames Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at its wings and the moon. Ooh, that is so cool. Oh, that is so cool, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, let's take a look at the um, different things on the canvas itself. So we have branding up here at the top. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. We have a legend over here on the side, which holy cow, 66 colors? For real? That's a lot, that seems like a lot when I look at this canvas, 66. You know what, I am noticing from Diamond Art Club lately, I feel like their baseline of colors, their standard used to be more like 40 to 50 colors and more and more with their canvases, I'm seeing upwards of 60, easily upwards of 60, even on canvases like this that, I don't look at this and think I see 66 colors, you know? I don't, I don't know, but that's gonna look incredible, I'm sure. So what we have over here is you have just the number and order, and then we have the actual symbols themselves, and then this says color code. This is the DMC code, with the exception of, we're gonna have four ABs in this kit. Yes! Okay, so with Diamond Art Club canvases, any numbers under 150 are AB drills. I'll tell you more about those in just a moment. I will say off the bat, I am not a huge fan of these three here like being different numbers from 
like this. You know, I wish that seven was seven, eight was eight. And anyway, it's fine. It's fine. I'll get over it. I just will be slightly grumpy about it. We have another legend or key code over here on the side. And these take up easily over half of the height of the canvas, which is 56 by 74 centimeters. Here is all the info, including the title and the artist, because Diamond Art Club is one of those fabulous companies that licenses all of their artwork across the board. I am extremely passionate about this particular subject. I will only purchase from companies that have licensed the artwork, which means that the artist, the creator of this artwork is being compensated for their work. It has not been stolen. <laughs> so here at the bottom, we have all the info about Diamond Art Club socials, including a discount code and then info about the guarantee on this canvas. Diamond Art Club does have a really great warranty and guarantee on their canvases. One of the reasons that I love them. Now, I did jump ahead just a little bit because I got so excited to see this canvas, but other goodies that came in here rolled in with the canvas. We do have a booklet with step-by-step -step instructions. There's another discount code in here. Are you sensing a pattern? Don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club, please. <laughs> And then we have this, this is our sticker sheet, which has a couple of different uses for us. So first, this is also something you can put in your logbook if you want. You can put a start and end date. We have the info about the kit itself and then look at that artwork. Oh my good gracious, that's incredible. I don't know that I recognize this artist's name. I'll have to go and look and see if he's, he or she has uh, licensed pieces to Diamond Art Club before, or maybe if there are more coming, I love it. Diamond shape, square, size, SKU. And then we have our sticker sheet. Lots of symbols on here I don't remember seeing in Diamond Art Club kits before. Like that diamond, this one up here. I like it, they're having to branch out because they're doing like a million different symbols now. <laughs> Not gonna complain. None of these look too terribly similar to one another, which I am happy to see. Um, but yes, the other thing to note about this is these are actually perforated, they're pre-cut. So if you use plastic storage containers like Harbor Freights, Elizabeth Wards, anything like that, you can use this for kitting up and it's gonna go super, super fast. I love it, yay. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the drill field. I wanna make sure that these symbols are all still looking clear when we take an up close look. So our M's and our N's are very distinct from one another. Again, when I was looking at the symbol list there, I didn't see any that looked too terribly similar to one another. If you want to jump ahead of me a little bit, take a look and anywhere you see the numbers one, two, three, or four, that's where our AB drills are going to be. But we're gonna look at the drills here in a moment and then we'll come back and look at the canvas to confirm where each of those amazing colors are going to go. Ooh, that moon is going to be nearly all ABs and I'm here for it. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, so over here, these are a little similar but very distinct even just without a light pad or anything. There's a V and then there's a Y on very similar backgrounds. but. Again, I'm not mixing those up at all, I don't think. Okay, now I like what I'm seeing symbol-wise. Fabulous job as always, Diamond Art Club. Let's flip this over. I wanna get into the drills, because of course I do. <laughs> now, here's our big bag of drills. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh, all those reds, yellows, oranges. This is going to be glorious. So, in case you store your drills separately from your canvas, not in the box that they came in, um, this makes it easy to match up later because it has your serial number and the title of the piece on it. Let's get into these. If you're not a fan of the crinkle and just wanna skip ahead to where I'm showing you where the AB drills go on the canvas, just scroll forward. <laughs> Let's get into these. As always, admire the fabulous packing job that the folks over there do, and then I ruin all of it. Here we go. Two bags of 742. Three bags of 606, that brilliant red. 
put two bags of 741. It's been a while since I've had these. Two bags of 666. And I just, I always think of Miss Coffee. <laughs> she always says, don't give it power, y'all. 740. Are you noticing a pattern? Yellows, oranges, reds. Love it. All right. Ooh. Three bags of 939. And since these are square drills, as always, I'm going to take a closer look at them and make sure that we are looking good quality wise. If you weren't aware, square drills, especially dark square drills, can be a little bit trash prone. It's problematic if your square drills are trash prone because they sit so snugly next to each other. Um, we also have one, two, three, four, five bags of 310. Oh boy. Let's look at these two. Now, trash, what does trash drill mean? Or what what does it mean if there's like a bad if there are bad drills, junky drills? So drills or diamonds that have little tabs sticking off the side that'll squish up against the drills next to it and push them out of place and often make them pop. There are some really tiny, tiny tabs that I'm seeing on just a few of these drills, but overall these are looking good. And I always like to look at the dark drills in particular because again, dark drills for whatever reason are so much more trash prone, like the way that they're produced. Okay. 947, that bright orange, my goodness. No ABs yet. I'm waiting for them, Diamond Art Club. <laughs> 321. Two of 823. It's kind of a dark blue. 820, 498. Love those. 445, 855. This shading is going to be incredible. Beige, and then here we go, 129. This is that, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> this is a pale buttery yellow AB drill color. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, diamond painting, if you're new to diamond painting rather, and you're not familiar with what AB drills are, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and that refers to this special coating that they've put on top of these drills that give it an extra gorgeous amount of sparkle it's gonna reflect a few different colors and it's gonna pick up some of the colors of the drills around them. And it's just gonna add some really, really pretty glitz and enhancement to your canvases. 47834, ooh, like that lavender 340. Green and orange, love it. Okay, next AB, 125. All right, so I hope this is gonna translate well in camera, but this is not, this is not like a pure white AB. Like 141 is kind of Diamond Art Club's common go-to white AB. This has a tiny, tiny bit of a gray or mint hue to it. That's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. And oh my gosh, there's like that iridescent coating is like a rainbow. <laughs> but yeah, this isn't a pure white. There's like a tiny hint of mint to it. Again, I don't know if it's translating in camera, but that's really pretty. And then 165. Two more ABs to find, we'll get there. Green, blue, kind of a dark slate. 318, 155, pretty colors, ooh, love that. Oh, hello, speak of the devil, 141. That is that pure white AB that I was just talking about. Let's compare for a moment. Okay, in my right hand is 141, it's kind of a pure white, and then over here is 125. So you guys can see the slight difference in those, I hope. Pure white AB, love it. 3776, 414, 301, 648. Ooh, love that deep purple. Ooh, all right, and here's our fourth and final AB. This is 126. Love that pale, pale lavender with like a random red straggler in there. All right. <laughs> Just add like one random 
dark red AB somewhere in the fire in this kit. Couple more colors. 66 colors. Takes a minute to go through, you guys. <laughs> Last strand of drills. These are the ones that we just have little bits of. Those pale colors, 428, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, Ooh, love those. Love those. All these pale muted tones that I don't think of when I look at this kit at all. It seems so bright and vibrant. I think Dragon might be a little more pale. Where is there pink in this kit? Where is there pink? <laughs> We're about to find out. So let's take a look here. I want to find out where these ABs are gonna go. Okay, pink in the dragon's mouth a little bit and then up here in the wings. I just was very confused. Like where's the pink? I'm so confused. Okay, so let's talk through our ABs here. So AB number one is 125, which is that AB that has just a slight mint hue to it. We're looking for the number one. It is all here. Let me scooch so you can see. Basically this whole moon, anywhere you see white in this moon is that white AB that has a tiny hint of mint color to it. I'm not seeing the number one anywhere else in this kit. It looks like it is entirely in the moon. I'm not seeing it anywhere else. That's gonna be really pretty. Number two, 126 is the pale lavender AB. And that is most of the purple in this moon actually. So this whole moon is going to be just super, super glitzy and beautiful. <laughs> I love it. So lots of number twos in there. Let me see if they snuck any in the dragon down here at all. I don't, I don't think I see any at the moment. Is that pale purple too? Shout if you see it, please. <laughs> yeah, I think that this is the only spot that we have those light purple, those lavender ABs. That moon is going to look in Incredible. All right, AB number three, the pale buttery yellow AB. We have that, ooh, that is all through this part of the dragon's flames. Insert a joke here about how dragons can't blow out their birthday candles and it makes them very sad. Um, we have a little bit of that pale yellow in its mouth, a tiny bit here on the tail, sort of where the light is hitting it, its own fire is hitting it. Um, a little bit here in its horns. That pale yellow was kind of just adding like some accents again to where you imagine the light is hitting it. Here in the claws, outlining here, here, on its leg here. I hope we have a decent amount of that pale yellow AB. <laughs> um, I thought I just saw it somewhere else. Okay, up here in this little hook on the dragon's wing here, claw. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so beautiful. Love it. Last but not least, our fourth and final AB is white. It is 141 and we are looking for the number four. And that number four I am seeing in a lot of the same places as that pale buttery yellow. A lot in the claws, not there, here, 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 uh, here on the dragon's snout and teeth. All of his teeth are these white ABs. Oh my goodness. Do I think this dragon's a he? I'm gonna say it's a she. Um, here we go over here in its horns again, teeth up here in the tail, ooh, that's cool. And here in the flame. So that AB placement though, yes, I'm here for it. This is going to be incredible. This looks like this piece is going to have a lot of confetti with a bit of color blocking here and there, depending on the sections. Like this dragon is mostly confetti and there's mm, a little bit of color blocking in here. I don't know. I don't think it would take too, too long, but I don't think it's gonna be one of those like super ultra fast kits either. By the way, color blocking means if you have like a bunch of one color in a section that's gonna let you use your multi-placer for days, confetti is when you have lots of different color changes in a small area, and therefore you're gonna have to be doing a lot of single placing, a lot of changing out the colors in your tray, um, but, you're gonna get lots of detail. And Diamond Art Club has this really distinct and fantastic rendering style that's very clean, very polished, and 
I think it's going to lend itself really beautifully to this artwork. I think the size is right for this piece as well. Diamond Art Club is really intentional about they they want to go with a size that is going to do the artwork justice. They're very particular about that sort of thing, especially given that they're hand rendering all of these images and just being very intentional about that. So I think the size is probably good for this. 56 by 74 centimeters. That's kind of Diamond Art Club's sweet spot is kind of the 50-ish by 70-ish. And it's a nice size to work on as well. It's a good size piece. You're gonna get lots of detail, but it's not this massive, massive piece that's gonna take you forever to finish. But it's not about how fast you finish your diamond paintings anyway. You just wanna enjoy the process. So I am definitely gonna recommend checking out this kit if this looks like something you'd enjoy working on. Um, I know I'm going to enjoy working on it. Let me show you the top one more time. Um, this looks incredible, absolutely incredible. I think that, excuse me, the color contrast is going to be stunning. I think it's gonna be absolutely stunning. And the AB placement, I love, love, love. And it's a dragon, so of course I'm obsessed. But I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Does this kit look like something you might wanna to try to get your hands on? Um, are you curious to see if we get to see any more from this artist? Again, that was Robin Coney. Coney? Coney? Sorry, Robin. Uh, but yes, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Diamond Art Club, I feel like, has gotten to a place where they've been much more uh, consistent and had a a really good number of kits produced to try to meet the demand. So I really appreciate that about them. And hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on any kits that you want to this upcoming weekend. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Diamond Art Club for sending this over to me to share with all of you. I really, really appreciate that. And I'm so glad that you guys are all here. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up before you head on out. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing uh, for more diamond painting content like this. I'd love to have you here. Leave questions, comments, concerns, snarky thoughts down in the comments. And otherwise, I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.